Hi everybody, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here in Bridgeview, Illinois, where the Sounders will face the Chicago Fire on Saturday night at Toyota Park. Now Chicago will be without one of their top players in Mako Papa and with a new head coach on board. But Sounders have a good idea of what to expect out of the Fire. Uh, you saw in, in Vancouver's game the other night, you know, new coach there made, you know, three, four lineup changes, not necessarily personnel, but move people to different positions. So it's possible that some people will be, uh, will be in different positions as well. We won't know until we step on the field. I mean, you know, they're going to be fighting. Every guy's going to be fighting for a position and hoping that the coach uh, believes in them and, and starts them and sticks with them. So each guy uh, kind of has a fresh fresh start. Are they going to switch out of a 4-4-2? Uh, maybe not, but they might, so we got to be prepared for that. Uh, the other aspect of it is, uh, are they going to try and play a little bit of a different game? Is it going to be more possession orientated or is it going to be more direct? That's something that takes a few weeks or, or so to really develop, but I think at the outset, you know, Frankie Klopas is, uh, you know, has been around this group, has been around the team. I think he has an idea of what, what they can do. I mean, you got to match their intensity and, uh, and actually and raise it because, um, you know, as I said, they're, they're all going to be fighting for their jobs. The new coach can bring in new players, get rid of the old guys, and, you know, they want to show their stuff, so they're going to be buzzing. Plus, you got to, you know, the crowd maybe coming in, believing in the new coach, and, you know, the whole energy kind of thing will, will, uh, will take over. Chicago's top scorer is forward Diego Chavez, and while he's only scored one goal in the last eight matches, he's still a dangerous force up front. He can play up high and he can be the target, and he can play with his back to goal, but he also can drop in underneath, and he hits some very good passes and finds other people breaking in behind the defense. And uh, he did one last week when they played San Jose. He did one earlier in the season against us where he, where he put where he put Parara in. Uh, so, you know, he's a player who can, he can play up front, but he can play either role for you. He can be the high guy. He can also be the underneath guy. So he's a, he's a good player. Uh, we'll try our best, but, uh, you know, he's obviously the, the player to watch and to keep an eye on. And, uh, do our best to, to limit his chances. Lamar Nagel's first career MLS goal last week against Real Salt Lake was voted MLS Goal of the Week, and he's been buzzing with confidence ever since he scored that goal. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough, my first goal being Goal of the Week. Um, but I'll, I'll do it with a little tapping. Doesn't matter to me as long as I can get some more. Yeah, I don't mind. I think when you score a goal like that, you know, it helps your confidence, you know, and sometimes that becomes a trigger point, you know, and, and when you look back on your career or whatever, you look at defining moments and so forth. I mean, I, I remember as a, as a young man, you know, uh, hard to believe I was a young man once, but uh, I had a good friend and, and he ended up scoring an unbelievable goal in front of a coach who was the assistant coach of the New York Cosmos, and next thing you knew, he was on the Cosmos. Kickoff is at 5.30 Pacific time. You can watch live on Kong 616 or listen to Arlo White on 97.3 Cairo FM. For SoundersFC.com, I'm Matt Gash.